We're going to be doing a bearing lube test, trying to break our previous record of a spin time of 6 minutes and 50 seconds. We're using the Quicken Diamond Lube on bone Swiss bearings with orangutan in heat 86As, 75 millimeters. And we're going to start now. Once I get my foot done, I will tell you when to start. Start. We're going to continue to talk to you throughout the video so you can see what we're doing and everything. So you know we won't doing, be doing any tricks. We're going to be sitting here. Colin's got the light. Yep. I'm recording. I'm going to keep moving it so you know we're not just replaying the same thing over. There's no fan to keep it going. We are completely isolated. We're at 30 seconds, and this is still going good. I'm pretty sure we're going to break our record with this. Yeah, pretty sure. Because before, we couldn't really get that much motion on it. We just have to remember to stay away from the light. I mean, stay away from the things that we don't come in contact with it. And we should be good. So, Colin, go ahead and tell us about the formula. All right, well, what we're using right now is quick end, quick end diamond loop. What it basically has in it, it's got really, if you think about it, it's got little tiny crushed up diamonds in it that are spherical shape. And you put it on your bearings or anything where metal touches metal. Like it's just not, it's not just for skateboards, it's for your car, it's for guns, it's for anything. So, I put it on my bearings and what you do, you put on your bearings, and ride them in for about 10 minutes. Then the oil will start to come out because you don't need the oil in here basically, it's just an applicator. The diamonds stay in and what they do is they reduce all the friction from the metal touching the metal. Just about all the friction. And it's like, okay, here's the sheet. And it's sponsored by NASCAR, so you know it's got to be pretty good. We're working on getting the military spec for it, so the military will be using it in all their weapons and everything, even the tanks. And basically, if you want to put this on your skateboard, or on your bearings or anything, it's $25 for this bottle, but this bottle lasts about a year, even more, because it's got dimes in it, it's not going to wear out, so you're not going to need to replace it. Just to let you guys know, these are synthetic diamonds. Yeah. They're not naturally occurring, so it's not going to be as expensive. They're the same exact thing. They do they're actually harder than They're natural harder diamonds. than natural diamonds because they use more pressure and heat to build them. And it helps a lot more. But what it's really doing, it's a mechanical lubricant. It's the Every first mechanical lubricant ever. There's no other mechanical lubricant. Every other lubricant you get for skateboard bearings or anything else is a chemical lubricant. Which means it's going to wear off really fast. As soon as it gets out of the bearings, you it's, it's gotta gone. lubricate it. This, this stuff, you put the diamonds in it, the diamonds bond to your bearings. And once they bond to your bearings, you can gas them out, you can wash them, whatever you want to do. You can wash them as hard as you can, the diamonds are still going to be on here. So, everybody knows that if you run a bearing dry, it runs faster. So once you get once you get the oil out of here, out of your bearings, it runs fast because it's just diamonds touching diamonds against the metal. So no metal, metal, no friction. So they're gonna keep spinning for a long time. And what time are we at now? We are at 326. Uh, what I really like to strong. say, I'd like to go ahead and say, what it is is a bearing on top of a bearing. Ring. Yeah. Once you have the diamond in there, there's gonna be another extra one in between the metal and the bearing. Think about it like. A BB like this. A BB on ice. Now you step on ice normally and you'll stop after a few feet if you slide. If you really push. Now say somebody put BBs on the ice and then you slid on it. You slide all over the place because there's less friction from you and the ice. And that's basically it, this is what this is doing. And so if you want to buy a bottle of this it's in the description. We it's at www.diamondlube Dot net. And you don't gotta worry about the website being bought bad or anything because my parents made it. We're the only licensed people that can sell this. And basically, there's two people in the whole country that can sell this. The inventor of it, Chris Arnold, and us. And basically, 
if you want to buy a bottle of it, it's twenty five dollars plus shipping, which shoot, it's shoot. not really gonna be that. It's much not shipping. really expensive. Cause Look, that that shipping, you could put that in an envelope. Yeah, it's like two bucks for shipping. Really? Not two even. Bucks. I, I don't even believe it would be that much. Yeah, and this this is the gun lube. This isn't even the the skateboard lube. The skateboard. The ones that we use. We have we have different designs for everything you could possibly imagine. Yeah. We're just now breaking five minutes. Just like to go ahead and point that out. Still five. Still going pretty Still fast. Going pretty fast. I'm pretty sure it will break our record. We <coughs> might hit seventy. Seven. Seven minutes. Seven uh, I didn't minutes. Know. I apologize oh. for saying seventy. That would be insane. Seven. Don't be a YouTube hater and be all like, oh, you said seventy, but I'm not. Yeah. Right Sorry. now, my board. Stella Blockhead Lowrider. You got a Stella Blockhead Lowrider. Randall 180s. Well, bam. The red well, hand bam. and the black, black mount. And this guy has Landjock Evo. Same trucks. Uh, he's got a stainless steel finish. Yeah, stainless steel. He's got retro big zigs, 83A, uh, 75 by 56. Same as my wheels. That minor orangutan thing and heats. Um, he's got a, he's got some different bushings in me. I got I the, the stock I got the Venom like Eliminators, 90A board side, 87A road side. He's got the stock Randall bushings. He'll probably end up changing those. I don't know, man. I like them. They they, they rebound. don't. No, just yes, no. They, uh, yes. They're they're okay. not meant for downhill. Uh, they're yeah. a one size fits all bearing. True. True. Yeah, we're already at six. Holy crap! Look what we're at. Look at the time. Yeah. Six twenty. We'd probably break our record. Maybe. But still, most bearings, even if you put, everybody's like, oh, speed cream is the best, man. You put speed creams on everything. And it's going to come off after probably, I want to say, a day. Yeah, yeah, probably a day. And if you're doing downhill, it's going to come off within a couple of runs. And that's just the short hills. I'm going to have to go ahead and get this up next oh, yeah. to it so oh, you can see that we're not cheating. So 645, our last record was 650. And we just broke it. We just broke it. This is crazy. Here we go. Maybe even See seven how? minutes. Please seven be minutes. seven. This would be crazy. <laughs> Please God. And yeah, still going. Still going. Over seven and stop. So seven o four point sixteen. So seven minutes four six four seconds and sixteen thousands of a second. Yeah, the fastest I think I've seen somebody go with bone swisses and speed cream. I think was without cheating and telling yeah, without, me. Yeah, without editing the videos, probably about four minutes. And we just got seven minutes, four seconds talking the whole time. You can time. go look up insane times, but you can tell that they cheat because they keep it in one stationary spot and they just keep cutting the video. You can see where it cuts because you can tell by the sound change. Yeah. We've kept this as a rolling video movement, so you know we can't cut it. It's not on a tripod. Been moving it around, talking to you the whole time, so we did not cut this. So like on that it. on that note, I'd like to go ahead and say, check in the description, subscribe to us so you can watch our next upcoming longboard videos. Gonna have and some bombing some hills. It's gonna be sick. We're gonna be bombing hills, pushing 40 <laughs> on tiny hills that we have just around here. So subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.